What's up, Basil Babes? I've been running around and just got home. Of course, I get home. I stay at school late. I get home. He goes, uh, can you pick me up? I just got home. <laughs> but, and then another thing that took a while, well, made me stay at school longer. I was in the storage facility at the school to try to get another desk put in my classroom so we can use more of the alternative seating instead of the free public school education seats. <laughs> so the um one of the ladies who cleans the room and stuff, she's I we bonded from day one. And I was like, come on, do you have she was like, let's just go, let's go, let's go, let's go to the storage room. Come on, let's go, we'll see. Just come with me. <laughs> so we both digging in the storage room. I was like, no, that that's right there. Give me that one right there. So we had to pull half the storage room out in order to make it <laughs> to the desk that I wanted. And so um, then we were trying to position and rearrange the classroom a little bit. So needless to say, I was at school a little late today, but I'm really happy with the desk and um, some of the balls fit perfectly. It's the perfect height and so on and so forth. So while I was leaving, um, I was trying to get out of the school. I was trying to finalize some last things that I have to print out at home, Bobby. Say hi, Bobby. <laughs> so then um, my friends call and this is people I don't hear from very often. Maybe one girl, she calls once in a while. I don't even think she has my number. Then the other girl, and I was like, why is she calling, right? <laughs> so I was like, what What happened? What, 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 what does she want? Did I do something? Does she need something? So I answered the phone and it was great to talk to her. She was with um, some other girls, you know, that we know, you know, and I said the holidays were a little hard for me. And um, and it was like, you know, I'm just a phone call away. We have to do better in 2020. You know, we love you. We're going to be there to support. And it just brought me to tears how, you know, when you're going through a hard time, how, you know, people come and gravitate to you. So it just lets me know that I don't have to go through certain things by myself like I have the past year. So it just warmed my heart. And then of course you guys too are always there for me and I appreciate that. And I, I probably leaned on you guys, you know, talking to you through the videos and stuff more than I had to, but the, the holidays were really, really hard in the challenging time, you know. So, but I just wanted to say, I really appreciated my friends um, calling. And sometimes when you're going through a hard time or a hard phase in your life, you'll find out who your real friends are. You'll find out who's in your corner. And then after reflecting on a lot of things and thinking about things, it's like forgiveness is um, very powerful in how people pick and choose who they want to forgive. And you know, the ones that you can forgive, it doesn't mean that much to you, but the ones that really don't need forgiveness, those ones you forgive. So, but I was just very grateful um, to know that this core group of girls, you know, it, it just warmed my heart. And they were all on the phone, they had me on speaker and stuff. They was like, come on, come on down, we got you. Don't worry about it, we got you. You know, <laughs> it was just when I was like, no, I'm at school, it's gonna take me an hour to get there. And he was like, all right, so next time, just whenever, you know, you want to do something, if you don't have it, we're going to have it. You know, we got you. That's what family is about and stuff. So, oh, it was just, it was just wonderful. I could go on and on about that. It was just wonderful. So I'm going to say, although 2020, um, going towards 2020 was hard, you know, with the holidays and stuff, but um, my friends really showed me you know, although I don't talk to them all the time and hang out with them all the time, that if I'm going through a hard time, none of us need to go through and experience those things alone. So I was just, you know, blown away by that. And sometimes for 2020, like I said in another video, you may want to take this time to forgive somebody because, you know, even with my situation, you know, um, other people it was okay to forgive and 
other people, but it's not okay to forgive someone else. So it just shows you your worth, you know, and I knew my worth a long time ago, so I need to just let dead dogs where they leave them right where they lay. But you know, the heart is your heart. So anyway, Bobby has a point that she's gonna make. Sydney has a point that she's gonna make. So I was like, oh, let's just turn on the camera. Clay, you have a point you gonna make? About, like, like, what do you mean? I don't know. Okay, Bobby, so what happened today about Bobby? She just, she told us um, something that happened at school with her practice. And I was like, that's great because it allows you to reflect and self-reflect on um, the choices that, that we make. And what you think you are, you may not necessarily be that. So I'm going to let Bobby tell her story because it's her story to tell okay but if y'all want me to tell a story i'll tell a story you want me to tell a story bobby or you got the story because you know i'll get the story because you know i run my mouth a mile a minute you want me to get the story or you got the story you can tell the story well anyway so bobby was at practice right no you tell your story so basically we were at practice and we were just like at first we were just doing a bunch of drills and then she had us who she my coach mm -hmm. my coach had us my coach had us pair up with someone who has the same basketball ability as yourself and so like everybody paired up and then we just thought we were going to be done with that and we were just going to do a drill but then she was like now i want you to line up in a straight line the front being the best people in the program and then the back of the line being like the people who still need like more improvement and they're just not completely like, you know, at the top yet. And so we lined up all like did that. And like, I didn't really like doing that because I don't like to like compare myself to other people. And it's like, it's so vague because it just wasn't very specific because but she wanted to do it as like an all around basketball player. So we lined up and then, and then after we lined up with partners, then she said, okay, look at the people on your left, look at your people on your right. Now I want you to do it individually and line up the front being the best people in the program and the back line being like the, I wouldn't say the worst people in the program, but like the not as good people in the program. And so we did that, we lined up, and this was like the entire program, like JV, varsity, freshmen, both freshman teams, it's everybody. And so she just wanted us to see like where we fall with everybody else, I guess. I don't, I don't really understand the point of her doing the, the exercise, but I don't, I don't really know, honestly, I don't know why she made us do that. But I think she also did it to kind of split the teams evenly, but I don't know. That's basically what we did in basketball today. And then we did another exercise before that one where we had to split up based on like on the left side of the court was the people who think they're like the best people in the program. Like they don't like they're like really good. And then the other side where you need the other side was needs improvement. So I like I went to the needs improvement side because I always think there's always room for improvement. But but there was like, but at the end of the, at the exercise, everybody went to the needs improvement side because, and my coach was like, good answer, because there's always room for improvement. Like you can always get better at something, whether it's your attitude, something in basketball, mm -hmm. anything. Right, because no one is perfect. Nobody's perfect. Correct. So I think that I think that was a powerful activity that the um the coach set up for you guys like self actualization for you to realize something about yourself because you said there were a few people that just went for the expert side yeah and then maybe they had to take a second to think about that there's always room for growth there's always room to be better nobody is perfect because there's always room to be better there's always room to be a better person there's always room to grow and to learn and to reflect on you as a person and hopefully the lesson that she had the people who just marched over to the expert side 
no everybody has room for growth you know i've seen a couple of their games everybody has something that they could you know improve upon i know i do child <laughs> i you know i tell you my life is not perfect but i'm willing to take the lemons i have and turn them into some lemonade honey yes so sydney what you got basically my friend becca and i were talking and we were like Oh, we have some ideas that would be really cool to implement in our youth group. And so, church, huh? Yeah, church youth group. Our church youth group, our like youth ministry. And so, I think we're in the car, and she was like, "Okay, like I'm gonna make a list." And so she made a list of all these things that we were gonna show to the director of our youth ministry. His name's Mark Swayze. And so, Bobby made this whole paper full of all the all of our idea all of our ideas, and she made it like super formal, so it was like kind of funny, but like like we were still like being serious at the same time. A few people sat in on the meeting, including Mark, myself, and Becca. He yeah, just said it was great stuff, and he was really proud of us for doing this because it shows real leadership. Mm -hmm. And. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my story. And you did not wear the business suit that we picked no. out for you. Did Cindy. you already tell him about that? No. Oh. Well, I'll insert. No. Mm. So, <laughs> I was going to wear a business suit just to be funny. Becca and I were going to. But so, we all tried on the business suit yesterday. Yeah, we all tried on the business suit yesterday. But... We didn't end up wearing them because none of us felt like it, but it would have been funny if we did. I don't know if we like wearing clothes. But, yeah, it was a very successful meeting. But we also talked to one of um, our friends earlier, and she kind of just like completely changed our perspective on what we wanted the meeting to be about. So, yeah, that was good. I was proud of Sydney. I mean, she looks so cute in the little business suit. And she, I was hoping that she would have wore it. <laughs> but it was, it, was, it was awesome. She really looked great in the business suit. And we all tried it on. The girls fill it out a little better than I do. But um, it really looked nice and professional on both of the girls. Well, I can't wait to see you girls wear business suits after you graduate from college and you're doing your thing, boo. You're doing your thing. So we just want to stop in. I want to share these little blessings with you guys because the girls, they're all blessings. Clint, you got something you want to share? Not that I know. I'm going to say hi. Oh, okay. Hey, yo, what's up? What did you just cook? Clayton is, is in the, he was in the kitchen cooking. I'm in the kitchen. Yeah, I was everywhere. Uh, I cooked some hash browns and I cooked some eggs with broccoli and chicken. I chopped the broccoli and I chopped the chicken. And put was it cooked broccoli? Did they cook the broccoli? Uh, I put in butter in there and then I just the broccoli and the chicken. Oh, so it wasn't pre-cooked broccoli? Yeah, no. And then I just like sauteed it almost. So did you make your omelet? No, no, no. I just put salt, pepper. Butter, uh, threw the eggs in there oh, after a while, and then later. I just scrambled them. And then I had the hash mm -hmm. browns, nice. Had two hash for browns. what? Yeah, you should put the hash browns in the air fryer. In that box, they don't taste much. They're in my room. Where oh my they God. don't. So, was it yummy? You grab my mm -hmm. I'm about it's to make some popcorn. You want some? Oh, god, you making more popcorn? Your popcorn be salty. It'd be like that. Mom, did you eat all my spinach? And no, not a capricorn. It's, I put it, I packed it in my lunch bag that I forgot and I left my lunch. Child, I left my lunch. I was trying to rush up out of here this morning. I left my lunch at home and I never leave my lunch. And it was a good, healthy lunch with my little quinoa, sauteed spinach and mushrooms and um, some turkey and some sweet peppers you know trying to you know get the body 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 
body body <laughs> right left it so then uh we ended up going to chick-fil-a my um co-worker she had like a thousand gift cards she was like honey my father gives me gift cards for christmas she had like a thousand of them she said well you want to go wendy's or chick-fil-a so we did chick-fil-a and honey i got the um cob salad that thing is good with the with the um avocado dressing oh my gosh that thing was the bomb.com and i know it probably has a lot of calories but i'm gonna feel like this oh don't calm down if i'm eating a salary i'm gonna put the dressing on the salad because if i'm just not eating the bad stuff i'll take the bad stuff in the dressing how about that i'm gonna eat my salad it's gonna be good that sucker was tasty. It was so good. I didn't I, I didn't expect that from Chick-fil-A at all. Yeah, people say their Cobb salads are really good. Oh my gosh, guys. If you have not gotten a Cobb salad from Chick-fil-A, go out and get you one today. The bomb. And you got to get the avocado lime dressing or something like that. It was phenomenal. I enjoyed every bite. It was good. I scraped out the little corners and everything. Good. I may have to do a mukbang on that one, honey. What kind of I think it was lettuce. Um, of course, it was the chicken. It wasn't grilled, it was fried. Cheese, corn, and then some tortillas, I think, that you put, it was, came in a little separate packet. And that's all I recall. And some tomato, cherry tomatoes. I heard it's real good. It's it really, really good. And you know, you think a salad is a salad, but that sucker was good, sis. I can't even front on that, boo. It was good. I don't know. So, what happened was, I put this on my head this morning. I call myself trying to lay some fake baby hair down on my head. The fake baby hair makes no hair. So, <laughs> So I call myself, you know, trying to do the little swirls that I see people doing, right? So I was like, yeah, Joy, you see people putting a scarf to tie it down. So just drive to work with your scarf on. So I put the scarf on, right? And I was like, oh, this look kind of cute. I was like, this might be my next look when I go out. But I want one with blings and stuff. Well, you, you know, you could get them blinged out, sis. So I was like, okay, child, they did not know who I was at school today. The uh, one of the APs, cause you know, we had trainings today. The AP was like, who's that sitting next to uh, Miss Anderson? Who is that person? They was like, uh, that's Miss Basil. <laughs> so a lot of people didn't recognize me today. And they was like, oh, I love the braids. I was like, yeah, these braids took me almost three days. And they, a lot of them need to be, excuse me, sucker. Mom, um, I can't find your keys. And a lot of them need to be done, redone. But uh, it's gonna have to wait till this weekend. I'll redo them this weekend. Like the front needs to be redone. What I need to do is go to one of those Africans and just get the look, just do the front. Well, they may take the rest of my edges away, Joe. Can you help me my edges and my thoughts and I need every thought that's up in this little little head. I have a little head, y'all. All right, guys, we're gonna get out of here. Thank you for hanging out with us. I hope you enjoyed our little stories. Hope you they inspired you. Um make you reflect and think about some things. What did I do? What did I do? Nothing. What y'all talking about? Make sure you like, subscribe, and what did, what did I do, Bobby? Show her the face she makes. Who, me? <laughs> yes. Oh, what face I make? Go ahead, Bobby, what's the face? <laughs> Whenever you're mad, you make this face. Oh, yeah. I gotta, Let me see it. I don't know. <laughs> Let me see it. <laughs> no, you make too long. Made You've that. never made that face. Oh, so what kind of face I make when I'm mad? <laughs> you do this. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> do it, do it. Well, yeah. No, no, that's not. Okay, that. then do Without it. Without the smiling, sure. Yeah. Man. Show me. It's, a, it's something like that. I'm like, do it, Bob and Cindy. Yeah. Just, just like that. No, no, it's not. No. But she does like she does something with her hand. 
I'm trying to bring it to go. <laughs> like, I gotta get it together. I just got home. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just laid out in bed. You always say it, but I just got in bed. Is that what mom did when I texted her? Yes, she was like, <laughs> that's the face that, that oh, okay. okay did you print out my passport information for me no oh. brooke's mom just actually sent me the application oh so. she is she's she's like my life saving well, brooke's too. mom sent it to brooke and brooke sent it to me i heard we're going to honduras when so i'm not saying i'm gonna get accepted but i need to get back the passport no, right. you said it was $40. Yeah, I thought, but I think it might have been 140 Yeah, it's expensive. So, girl, save your coin, honey. Save, save your, your coin. coin. Save your coin, bro. Why do you have to save up? for more? When are y'all going? In March. Okay, so save your coin. I already have to start saving up for the trip. How much is the trip? It's like $600. You have to fundraise for it. So, you better start fundraising.